in the battle with Israel. And that's the headline. Look for it on Fox News. Does that surprise you? It is terrible, but sadly, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, we have seen, you know, go back to Ilhan Omar's statement about 9-11 as a day when some people did some things. There, there's a group of people within Congress who are blatantly and openly Islamist terrorist apologists, period. That shouldn't surprise any of us because they have made themselves known. What should be surprising and disturbing to, to the American people is how many people in my former party, in the Democrat Party, which is one of the main reasons I left, are also Islamist apologists or who are so afraid of being labeled as Islamophobic that they won't stand up and say what is necessary to speak the truth about the threat that Islamist terrorists, whether it's Hamas, Al-Qaeda, mm -hmm. ISIS, or Al-Shabaab, and other groups pose to freedom and peace-loving people everywhere. But now is the time to stand up. And now while yesterday was fantastic, with 300,000 people who showed up, Yesterday can't be the end. It's it got to be continued. Yeah, I hope that they do these kinds of rallies for peace and love and freedom and life in cities across America and around the world. And we all need to stand with the Jewish people and with each other right now.